What is up guys, Matt is here, back with another video. Today we are in San Diego. I tried to film earlier, but my energy was low. But we are here with my godparents and my godbrother. If you guys remember from my videos back in Hawaii, we were just at the mall because it's my godmother's birthday. But I got my godbrother here with me. And if you guys remember when we went into Target, we were wilding out. Now we're in the mall. Kaden, what are you going to do right now? Camera Anything for everyone. you've ever wanted, baby. Kaden, how is it finding girls in like the ages of 10 to 12 years old? Uh, finding girls? No, it's kind of hard. Why is it hard? Because like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's right, this is all you all are here. Tricky, going on, going on. It's just a little <laughs> tricky because there, look, it's his vlog. You want his number? <laughs> Yo, chill. Let's get you a girl. I want you to get a girl's number. Oh my god. You could do it. Alright. Let's see it. Right there, right there. Bro, it's hard to get girls out here. <laughs> they all reject, bro. She oh. said no. Yeah, dude. She's same with the last 20 girls we had. Let's not... go. Try one more time. Go ahead. Go. Ask her. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Go ask. Go ask the child. Go ask. Yo. I am geeking right now. All right, let's see it, Paul. That's <laughs> <laughs> what they do, bro. You look good, bro. You look good. <laughs> Tell me why it fits you. I'm Ooh. sucking in a little bit right here, dude. And this thing's tight. Oh, how do I look, though? You look good. You look good. Baby, why you give me body? Why you give me maybe? Tell me why Kaden and I are in packs though. And these fucking shorts look like boxers, bro. I would ask Kaden to try it on, but he probably owns a pair at home. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna be honest, we're at the mall, and I honestly hate going to the malls. Malls are so fucking depressing and sad to me. I don't know why. And especially like in this mall, the lighting is like so shit. Nordstrom has good lighting though. But the reason why my big sister is not here is because she is at work. But we'll be meeting up with her later, and we'll get some like funny bits. Girl, her, we should take it slow. I get too emotional. so low it's because look at the fucking it's all white and it was raining earlier it's just so depressing bro so this is my godfather everyone that's my godmother i just want to say i love you i love you i love you too but <laughs> just because it's not my roommates doesn't mean did you see that lady when you did that what? she looked at me like <laughs> did she when i did this when you did that <laughs> Everyone, she's um, 29. I know she looks like she's 14, but this is actually her child. Yeah, a human being came out of this little body right there. I stopped growing at 12. How do you? 12. Bro, I'm, I'm 13. <laughs> 12. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at the steakhouse because it's my Nina's birthday. Happy birthday, old lady. Anyways, we're sitting here in this restaurant, this steakhouse, and tell me why we are the only people that are not white. <laughs> Shut up. I'm telling you right now, the only people that aren't white are the workers here, and they are bus boys. <laughs> I'm telling you. A little hack for you. You find the nearest sweet and low. You get about three or four packets of this, you know? And you get a lot of lemons. Let me tell you, when I say a lot of lemons, you get a lot of lemons. You see that? Boom. You squeeze it in there. Get all the juices out. Drop it. Wait, what is it? What is One it? One more time. Wait, I think it's... And you remember what I said about the sweet and low. You get about three packs. Four if you're feeling a little frisky. And you just dump it in this motherfucking water. And boys, let me tell you, you have the most pure lemonade that you've ever had in your entire life. I'm telling you, boys, the most pure lemonade in the world. Fresh. Squeeze. Make oh. oh my god. How is it, pal? Pal. Let me tell you, this lemonade is phenomenal. Try it out. Okay, I'm gonna text her right now. Wow. It's actually good, straight, huh? Straight, straight from the lemon farm. <laughs> wow. Try one more time. Like, Put the, the, the lemon there. So uh, we, uh, like, try like, like, oh, Wow. That's actually good. Except Look, my sister's except, here, everyone. You're late. I'm late because of you. I had to pick your ass up early in the morning. You wanna see something cool, bro? They're only staying for a week. Hey. But seriously, okay? Because it's kind of weird. You need know. I know. Hey, hey, Nina, Nina, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 o
<laughs> oh, what's it? Down, down, down. Oh, get out of here. What is that? Hey, this is my sister. Don't look too hard, boys. Oh. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's born each day. back home. Alright, we had to come to the roof because I feel like I'm always filming down there. I gotta change up like what you gotta see, you know, see me at so you're not bored when I'm talking, when I'm doing a little sit down, talk down to ya. But yeah guys, I said this once in one of my videos in Hawaii and I'll say it again, like, when I spend time with family guys, I really spend time with family, like I don't try to pick up my camera, like, uh, there's a lot of funny moments, but it's like, it's my family time and I cherish that more than content, honestly. But yeah, living in LA sometimes like consumes me, you know what I mean? Like mentally, whatever, whatever. Like, when you're around a lot of successful people, or you see a lot of successful people and you're not so successful yourself it kind of brings you down it brings me in a mood you know what I mean you know I obviously know I can't compare myself or I shouldn't compare myself to people but you know you get caught up and you do it's just a natural thing but when I go back home and what I mean by go back home it's not necessarily going where my mom and dad is it's going where my family is wherever my family is that's home to me so when I go back home it just like a reset button for me man you know when you get away from the city it makes you realize what the city has to offer and it makes you realize why you left home it brings me back to my roots and it, it reminds me that my family is the world to me you know what I'm saying like I'm trying to get in emotional or anything but like my family means a lot to me guys and I just I can't stress that enough I wish you guys could understand how much my family means to me and how much they help me especially my big sis and I always like appreciate her man she does so much for me guys no hesitation she just bought a house her first house with her family and she still like spent like X amount of money to buy me groceries you know what I mean and like I see a lot of you kids asking me you know how's it out there how's it moving out there like should I do it and honestly guys you should do it if you have a backbone a backup plan like luckily I'm blessed to have my sister in my my life and all my other family members but since my sister is in California man dude like she's helped me so much like for you guys who don't know she bought my motorcycle she helped me file all my taxes she's helping me register my dad's Jeep that he's shipping out here for me and with helping me she's also doing college and taking care of her son and working like whoo I just want you guys to know how much my family means to me like they are who I am I see a lot of you guys say that you fuck with me and that shit makes me so happy because I wouldn't be who I am without my family and when you guys say that you love me or you guys support your boy or you guys support me like it just means you support my family you know in a way yeah man I just wanted to touch face with that let's go back downstairs <laughs> but we're back in LA so you know what that means it's time to go back to work so far from and videos every Monday Wednesday Friday Sunday